Hello everyone, what is happening? In today's video, we're going to talk about opening an online video like the ones from video hosting sites like Dailymotion in VLC Media Player. Now, you can play your videos from online video sites just on the like this, or you could use this, uh, use our player called VLC Media Player. How do you open it? Take this URL that you see in your browser's address bar, right click on it, copy it, and open VLC Media Player. Go to Media, open Network Stream or the hotkey Control plus N. And this dialog will open where you'll want to paste it, and it's already pasted for me. You paste the network URL right here, and then what we want to do is play, so we'll, we're going to hit play. We'll have to wait a few seconds, depending on our internet connection, on the video to load on the player. And as you can see, our video is loading. And I took a shower and I had some VLC Media Player. Now, why do you want to open any video, any online video in VLC Media Player? Well, you can use the whole host of tools that is available in VLC Media Player for this online video. So, as an example, let me see the volume controls, these navigation tools, play, and also these tools that come with VLC Player, like let's say the effects and filters. And what you want to do is go to video effects and let's say this online video was too dark for you and you can increase the brightness just like that increase the contrast just like that and you can do anything like let's say geometry rotate the video oh it's fun and let's say you want to zoom the video or set the aspect ratio crop it and you know everything that is available for VLC's videos is available for online videos as well as well so that's about it and remember just to use media and open network screen to open any videos from video hosting sites like Dailymotion and maybe YouTube you can try it out mention it in the comments and tell us which video site works and which doesn't anyways thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next one hit like and subscribe if you found this useful thank you everyone